before the internship, I was just doing like all like landscape Photoshop type of stuff. I would literally like search on like photo tips and stuff every day. And then I came across photographer's page. He's a, like pretty like big person in the industry. His name was like Clay Cook. I saw that he had a internship in Kentucky for a year, but it wasn't paid. I just applied for it. I didn't hear anything back from him for like three, four months. And then I like reached back out to him. He was like, you're hired. And I was like, what? <laughs> I wasn't even expecting like that to even happen. I was just like, oh, wow. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Maya Moments. This is your host, Maya, and I'm here joined with me today by none other than Joseph Hart. What's up? What's up? He is known for his freelance photography, and he actually has his own podcast um, as well that I'm sure you can check out. I'll leave in the description box and different things where you can find his podcast things. But yeah, just say hi, Joe. What's up, Maya Moments fans? <laughs> it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Please. It's been a long time coming. Um, yeah, it has. Honestly. No, Joe actually um listened to the podcast himself and he's been telling he's been trying to get on the podcast for uh different topics That's that it. we're not talking about today. That's Maybe I'll have to bring him back on. <laughs> um but you've been an incredible supporter. So Jake, thank you for all your support and your kind words that you've given me. Um, and yeah, we're just going to talk to him about how he's been creatively purposed and just like what that looks like for him and his story. And hopefully, you know, just you'll learn some nuggets of wisdom. I'm sure he'll be able to drop just from his experiences and what he's been through. I um, mean, just his life. Um, I've known Joe four years, probably yeah. Funny like three and a half ish. Um, it's funny because like I met him my freshman year. Freshman year. Go ahead. <laughs> it's funny because like I met you. I don't even know like so like during like this time. I this is like when I was like first like starting to like take photos and and like Maya was one of my first like models. I feel like because because like I think I oh you was definitely like you was definitely like because during that time I wasn't even like taking photos of like people it was more so like the like yeah yeah that's true landscape stuff that i was doing yeah so like really it was yeah, like you was like yeah. one of the like first people and i think like i hit you Aww. no you hit me up about yeah i hit him up because i saw them? cams yes oh, it was Cam, for my bro. 19th okay. birthday oh my gosh that's so crazy because i'm turning 23 oh yeah that's crazy. literally <laughs> and like at the end of this month yeah, what the heck that's but yeah so i Cam, I saw some photos that he did. Now, um, it wasn't actually photos of Cam, bro. It was literally like, like he said, he was doing a lot of landscape and nature and like kind of like graphic edits more so like enhancing it. And so he had a photo of Cam, like his silhouette was in it. But <laughs> um, it was really about, it was fire. It was really about the graphics in the back. And so I saw it and I was like, Cam, who took this? And he was like, oh, my... my my dude Joe did it. I was like, <laughs> what's his information? And he was like, here, anybody I know, I'm a network. Okay. I like meeting people. I like collaborating. So, so I sure yeah. did. Hey, how are you? I'm new. <laughs> was you and Cam uh dating at the time or no? No. You were just a part of no, the uh, far, far. part of the uh PTG. Uh yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. Fire. So I had crossed over at that point and I was in BTG so like that's how I knew Cam me and Cam weren't even friends really at that time like we were acquainted with each other we knew each other we were doing a lot of ministry together you were a freshman freshman you was like mad quiet when I saw you <laughs> you was like I don't know nobody here at the school I didn't <laughs> like for real for real I was like a freshman freshman in that sense yeah. that like I knew nobody um I came from California and like now I'm having culture shock yeah. and I'm like, what the heck? What, yeah. What's going on? So that's why I was really going out of my way to like meet people like with common interests and stuff like that. Cause it was, it was, it was a little, it was challenging. Not that much after the first semester, you kind of get the hang of things, but 
Yeah. So I met Joe. He did my 19th birthday photos. Um, I still use one of those photos as my headshot really? to this day. For, like, those photos stuff. were fire, though. They were good. They, they were really good. <laughs> Shout out to you. Hey. <laughs> they were really good. And I didn't know Lynchburg either. So like he put take, like the spots we shot at and everything. I've actually got to work with Joe a couple times. Um, and then Cam, I think, set up a shoot with him. And, and that was like years later. Yeah. Or like a year and a half or so later when he did Eden. Yeah. And then he's done some stuff with Cam as well. So, yeah, you know, you know, but I'm little old me, you know, I'm, I'm on <laughs> the totem pole here. You know, he, he does work for a lot of great people. So let's just start at the beginning. Like, how did you get into photography? I think you kind of like touched bases on it with you, you know, doing more so like nature landscape stuff. But how did you really get into photography? Honestly, like. I don't really remember. I mean, like I kind of do. So it's like so it's like back in the day, this was like. This is like sophomore or like freshman, sophomore year or something like that. Because I know, because I remember like my first photo that I took was, was like at the end of 2016, like December 31st. Mm. That was like my first photo that I took. But do you remember the well, date? <laughs> because it's like posted on my, um, on my, um, oh, gotcha, Instagram. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, yo, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Literally my like first photo that I that took. That is crazy. But, um, yeah. But no, so like, so like me and the boys who I grew up with, we had a YouTube channel called the Brova Office. <laughs> so, Brova Office. <laughs> so like, so like, so it's so like we bought cameras for that, which was like my camera that I had. So like, I was like, if I have this camera, I like might as well like and learn how to like use it. And then... Honestly, the like rest was like history because like I started looking up like landscape photography and and just started like going out and like shooting every day. And wow, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. Started, yeah. So you honestly just got a camera and <laughs> honestly just got a <laughs> camera. Started, I was probably started bored, just shooting. bored shooting, and then I just started shooting everything. Wow. Well, that's crazy because like, okay, do you see instances like even like as a child or something where maybe you were artistic or you had an eye for like certain images? Do you, did that come to you naturally or like is it a skill that you have developed over time? I was, you know what? And it's funny that you say that because I like never really like thought about it that way because like I was never like artsy growing up as a kid, but I was always like, a like curious kid as in like I would like study yeah. bugs. I literally just watch them. So I, I would be very like detailed on like everything. Like observant of everything. I was observant yeah. of everything. And it's funny that you say that because I can definitely see it like coming out like with my work yeah. today. Because I'm yeah. just very like no, I th- particular. I think a lot of your <laughs> stuff now is so editorial <laughs> and you can see the details and everything. Like I say all the time, like Joe's gonna be like Vogue, like like the, Man, the that's, magazines that's like the dream. That one day. I, I know, know we'll but <laughs> you have the eye for it. Like you have the eye for it. Shoot. Thank you. Let me find out. (laughs) But I'm just saying, like, you have that eye for, like, especially just very eclectic and very, like, of your own. Like, I don't feel like I know any other photographers that kind of replicate any style that you do, which is not saying a lot. Because, you you know, this is an industry that's saturated. It is very saturated. (laughs) (laughs) The photography business is saturated. It is. It is. That's why, you know, I love picking up the camera and doing things, but you will never find me behind the lens. Uh, like as a profession, I'm not doing it. Um, I do like taking photos, though. Ah. I don't know. You should probably um, find out. Who knows? I, I did. Honestly, this is probably something people don't even know. Josh, you know, Josh is our Josh. Um, he had some promotional things that he did and it's like him in a it's him in like his liberty graduation thing and it's like on top of steps with 
It's like him in Lynchburg on this historical. Anyway, I took those photos of him. I took his graduation photos for him. Um, And it's really weird when I see my photos being used now. I'm like, ew, I took those. But like, I do know that I have a really good eye. I just don't know that I ever would want to actually do that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know that I have a lot of different talents, but... You don't necessarily have to do everything yeah, sure. for money. Like some things are just leisure and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you start doing, you pick up the camera, you get the camera, you start doing it. Um, you got people like me hitting you up to do photos and stuff like that. So how does that, what is that like? And then like, how does that get you to this internship that you end up going out of state for? Like, what is that journey like? Um, honestly, so before the internship, of course, like I was just like taking photos, taking photos, like, and like I said, at first I was just like, I was just doing like all that like, landscape mm. <laughs> Photoshop type of stuff. And I guess eventually like, like I just wanted to change that up and then just start to like shoot like portraits of like people. Yeah. So I would literally like shoot like every day. Like like I would find like something to like shoot every day. Every day. And then and then me being the like curious person that I am, I would I would literally like I would literally like search on like photo tips and stuff every day and just like follow like different photographers and, and like try to like mm-hmm. replicate my style after that. So you were really studying. Yeah, 100%. Like you were studying and yeah. Yeah. And then I came across um this, this photographer's page. He's a like pretty like big like person in the industry. His name was like Clay Cook. And Yeah, I know Clay Cook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, cool. So I was so so I saw that he had a internship in Kentucky for a year. But it wasn't paid. But like I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, this guy is incredible at like what he does, and it's like he's like big name in the industry. I would love to like work under him. So like, so like I just applied for it, and and I think I I applied for it, and then like I didn't hear anything back from him for like three four months. And then I like reached back really? out to him, and then like he was like, "You're hired," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I wasn't what? even expecting like that to even happen. I was just wow. like, "Oh wow, yeah, no, that's crazy." So that is crazy. So yeah, I went down to Kentucky. <laughs> sure did. And my sure bag did. went down <laughs> to Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> I remember that. I don't remember if that's when we did the Eden photo shoot or not Eden, like the photo shoot we did before that. Because I remember you telling me like, yeah, I'm going to Kentucky. And I was like, what? Yeah. For what? <laughs> it's like, I got an internship. We got to go. And it was like so <laughs> random because it was like, I mean, because like I had like one more year of like school left, but I was like, I don't even care. I'm going to just go, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, have you been back to school since? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He said, I'm good. Listen, listen, maybe, I'm good. Maybe one day <laughs> I might like finish for my I parents. I feel like, okay, I feel like you should just finish what you started. Like, you already, you, you know, you got like 90% of it done. Yeah. Like, maybe 85. <laughs> you know, maybe 85. Yeah. <laughs> Can you take any of your classes online though? Um, I'm sure that I could, yeah. Oh, see. I mean, who knows? It's I mean, I don't that know. Way too. Like, I would get it just to. Ah, I would. I don't know if I get it. <laughs> <laughs> We've had this conversation before. You said I would get it just. Nah, I, don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. We'll okay, so you you get the internship, and you move. You go. Okay, so like, how was it? Like, what did you learn? How did you learn? And like. What what was the most valuable thing you feel like you got from that time that you were there? I think I learned 
I learned a lot being there. I learned the most that I've ever learned in photography just like while I was down there. Um, just like smaller things that I learned, like when I was when I wasn't down there, I didn't know anything about lighting or like the studio work mm. going down there. Um yeah. we had a studio to where we could go to every single day, shoot everything, and we had like everything that we needed to accomplish anything that we wanted to like wow. do. Wow. That's incredible. So I think I learned the most about just like the like technical side down there mm-hmm. in photography. Mm-hmm. As far as like big things I learned, I feel like, um, and I didn't learn this just like while like I was there because I was, I was still just like sort of like, I mean, why are we like doing all this work if I'm not getting paid for all this stuff? You know what I'm saying? But like in hindsight, now me, like what I learned just to like, that's like very like, valuable is that like literally just like like try everything because it's like even if like you don't want to like do it like 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 you'll learn you can take small things from like different type of genres that you may not want to like shoot absolutely and just like learn from there i i remember because because like we was doing uh we was we was shooting for um fossil watches down there i was the photographer that was walking around just taking photos of like random things in there everything but like it was very like dark in that building and and i didn't really know just like how to like shoot it so like during that time i learned how to shoot with like flash photography (laughs) you know what i'm saying i learned how to like frame frame my subjects right even though even though like I don't want to like do that type of work, I can learn from right. that type of style and apply it to the work yeah. that I do. Yeah, and the work that you want to do, and the work yeah. that I want to do. So yeah, that was that was super like important for like me, and I also learned about yeah. the business side of photography as well. Is is that is the business side of photography complicated? Or is it kind of like you, you know, you learn as you go and you learn like some wisdom from it? I mean, like business is business. So, so it's like, so it's like photography business isn't different from regular business. I just, at first, I didn't know how important the photography style was. I think like before going down there, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know that like there was money to be made. And in, in in my uh, yeah. field, and until I went down there, until I saw like everybody else, it was like no, they actually making like crazy money doing good this. money, yeah, yeah. And I think that just opened up my eyes to it as well. Ah, uh, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm with you on that. I think even like as a for me with acting and then like the marketing stuff that I do. Yeah, I think realizing like. Like, I feel like business and understanding of business and mechanics, foundations of it, especially when you're a service provider, it can get really like you can short sight yourself and be very narrow minded in like what you think or you like expect, especially with money. Like you always are like, I don't know if I should give that much of a rate or I don't know if I provide. And like you understand, like as you get well, you hope that people evolve to this point that you know that the value that you're bringing isn't just always like surface level, like the amount of training that you put into the amount of hours that you've put into a client that's coming to you doesn't do that. They yeah. haven't put that type of tra- time training or understanding into it. They're paying you not only for the service of you taking the photos, they're paying you for your expertise yeah. and for the artistic, like actual years that you've yeah. put in. And so like, when you think of that and say, how much is the training and the amount of time that I've put to be someone that people mm-hmm. want me to do, when you put that monetarily, then it's like, I can't charge yeah. this or that. I have to charge this and, because yeah. I can't sure change myself. And it's like, that, like you like have to realize that it's like constantly like, coming to you for you at the end of the day they don't want anybody else they want your work at the end of the day you yeah and it's like and it's like when you like under like charge yourself it's like you are literally like devaluing your work 
that you like put in and it's like it's like you have to like know the like value of your work and the like time and the like effort that you actually like put into put this, into you know? it yeah and I think this also goes to talk about like when we did kind of mention earlier that like it is an oversaturated market um yeah. <laughs> yeah. know your worth because yeah. <laughs> just because I know in this, I could go on a made. rant about this. I can go on a rant about yeah, this, not just too. photography, but in general. I know yeah. you could. Yeah. But as a service based provider, like as an actor for one, but as like a marketer on the other side with my business, I360, so many people I see, they have not put in the time, the effort, the training that I've put in, and they're charging five times of what I charge. And I just think it goes to talk about ethics. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Like <laughs> this is not something that you just do to make money. I understand, you know, everyone is about being their own, you know, boss and entrepreneurship and being able to do things, but don't just get into things because you saw someone else doing it. This exactly. will just be another job, just <laughs> like any other job. <laughs> okay. People expect <laughs> you know? like, like make a living off of something. Let's say that like that. Let's say that like somebody just like just started out doing it. They're probably gonna be like, yeah. okay, okay, I'm gonna go I'm full time with this and like charge like a thousand dollars for like one shoot that they do. It's like it don't work <sighs> like that. It, <laughs> no. don't, work, it don't work like that. <laughs> it's it's really your face right now. He said, first of all, <laughs> I'm telling you like. <laughs> Like everybody want to be a photographer, but it's like, or yeah. or a um actor, but like nobody really want to like do the work with it. Listen, like, I can go into so acting easy for days. To, like, do it. <laughs> like it looks so easy. I have to, like, studied, and let me let you guys know this: I have studied acting. Okay, yeah. we're talking about. I have I have my diploma in the back over there. Talk okay, I'm Talk graduated. Talk like about it. don't don't play with me. Don't play with <laughs> Talk me. About it. <laughs> Um, it is not. And I, of course, there's people that are talented and they don't necessarily have to go to the education that I went into to get to the place that, you know, I potentially can get to. But at the end of the day, like Joseph said, even before he was studying what he was doing, actively doing it, even not with formal training, but finding the training for himself before there has to be a time where you are not trying to like, you're trying to see if you actually like this yeah. apart from making money, apart from like what other people are even saying about yeah. your work. Because I know like Joe, he gets a lot of accolades and stuff, but like he knows he's good for himself. Like he don't need other people to tell him that his stuff is good to know that he's good. You got to have a certain self worth too. And this is not to say about like self-esteem or something. We all feel, you yeah. know, ah, that could have been better. Or you nitpick them. But, I don't know about that one. But like at the same time, I will say this, like starting out, like that was extremely hard to like find because it's like when you're first like starting out, it's like you feel like that you're not good enough. And it's like, sometimes oh, it's like, I still like feel like that compared to like my like compared to the like a position to where like I want to like be yet I'm not that good yet but it's like you realize that it's like it's the same for everybody else starting out true so it was like very true so it was like so it was like somebody's just starting may think that like somebody who like started a month ago is better than they are and it's like it's the same cycle so it's like, mm -hmm. really, it's like have confidence yeah. in yourself and just like respect the journey that you're on. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that is really good. And as an actor, I didn't feel confident yeah. at all yeah. until maybe a year and a half ago. <laughs> Yeah. Like there was no confidence. I was getting roles. I was doing things. I was bettering myself. But like comparison. Like he was like that. I was like, I'm not, I'm not that good. Like in comparison to who I feel is good, I'm not that great. So, and I think it was, it was manipulation though, because I was good. I just was like shortchanging myself. And so, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like where you find validation from and like 
how you need it and stuff. But I don't know. I think it's a development. There was a lot of crying and tears and yeah. all that like journey of trying to like not getting roles or like not feeling you got the roles that you wanted and that kind of stuff. And uh, I think that just develops you as a person 100%. to like tell you what, like just chasing you know, your dreams as a like artsy person. That's a tough road to go down. I tell you what, right there. It is. It is. <laughs> That's a tough it road. Is. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, it's really hard. It really is. Okay, so you get all this valuable like training and education from just being there at this internship and like just being there for you were there for a year there for a year yeah a year yeah exactly. you were there for years I remember I'm not, I'm not, I, what? anyway the way that you said things to the day to the hour <laughs> I was there for exactly a year I, I but, back no, he day. was there for a year <laughs> yeah <laughs> there for a year and you start doing freelance work and if you're not aware of joe's freelance work you know, <laughs> he, he does pretty good for herself if i'm like so so and so no I'm 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 really, like i've said before like you've done a lot of great work um i mean you were doing great work even before you got the internship i remember like the waffle house shoot that you did and all that like yeah, you've no been you've been creative it that thing go crazy like i still look at it like that's crazy was, uh, but talk to me about that shoot i'm like dang that was like three, like three years ago it was it but was it was really job. good like I, it was so was, memorable yeah <laughs> that doing was uh, i go hold you that was, <laughs> no no for real it was good but um since then you've been doing a lot of freelance work working with models um other brands like mav city sayla um you're kind of like you kind of do a lot of product shop shop dots for <laughs> like uh, apparel and stuff like that you've done like some work with artists as well Let's talk about your freelance work and like why did you decide dc i mean you, you were in virginia you went to kentucky so was it just D.C.? I know like you're from that area anyway, but what made you go to in D.C. and then you start your freelance work? How was it like now kind of feeling? I'm sure you kind of felt like you were more equipped in other ways. How did that process go? Uh, I feel like D.C. like, I mean, it was just like where like I was from and I wasn't even planning on like staying here for that long. It's like this is my second year here in D.C. I was only going to stay for like a year, <laughs> honestly, and then like move somewhere. But I didn't know like where I was going to move to. I was going to move to New York for a long time. But mm. then I was like, I went up there during the winter time and I was like, nah, I can't do this. Nah, <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, I was literally <laughs> moving to New York all the way into like the end of sophomore year. I didn't even have to visit. I saw how cold it was in Virginia with the snow. Yeah. And I was like, I can't do, yeah, I can't nah. do nowhere else because Virginia is dramatic. Yeah. Like, but these other states, it'd be a blizzard. People still walk into work. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that's exactly what happened. And as far as like DC, I, I wanted to like move to like bigger city just, to, mm. just because it was like more like opportunity for like me as a photographer. But I mean, DC, I mean, like, it's cool. <laughs> How would you describe the type of, like, photography that you do, like, your style and, like, what you want to continue to do with your work? Um, I'm a fashion editorial photographer. So, like, I do, okay. like, a bunch of, like, like, honestly, like, if I, like, my, I'm gonna give you, like, a, like, dream job that I want to do. So, so it would be my dream just to like, just like say for instance that like Coca Cola comes to like me, and they want to like do a whole like fashion campaign with their drink. I would want to like do stuff like that. Oh, that's lit! Like a lot of the collaborations, not yeah. in the like most. Okay, clothing brands most, too is like, like fashion, fashion type of. 
Like, okay, for instance, did you see the, I think it was Hanifa fashion show that they did during the pandemic. And it was like, they had the models walking, but the models weren't there. Does that make sense? Like, it was like holes oh. moving. But, okay, you haven't seen it. I'm going to have to send it to you. But yeah, like, send that to me. it was insane. And I don't know. That was crazy. I don't know if that's your speed, but it was I mean, it's, I mean, insane. I love like stuff like that. I just, I just love to like do like projects to where I can just to where I can make stories come to life. Ah, uh, I got you, know. you. Now that makes sense. And also want to okay, shoot like and... celebrities too, just like for like yeah. magazine covers. I think that'll be fire. Like I if, think like, if I ever get up. a cover. <laughs> Uh, She's taken, and I'm up. like, all you men, like, you know, keep talking about Zendaya. Zendaya oh, I don't even, taken, I, but I, I know. I think she's, I think she's overrated in that type of way. But I love, but like, but like, but like, <laughs> I would love to like shoot her. Where's or like, like the buzzer? <laughs> 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 just me. Yeah, she's overrated. Okay, they no, no, she's <laughs> very photogenic though. Um, she's incredibly photogenic. Like all her photos are great. If I ever get a magazine cover, I definitely will have you be the photographer selected. I got you. I got you. Like, once you become, like, freaking Viola Davis out here on the acting, like, like, what? I got you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much. (laughs) I'll have a queen. When the Oscar. Viola. When the Oscar. Listen, I really would love to get an EGOT. I think everybody wants to get an EGOT, but like if I got an EGOT, nobody talked to me. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to say that. Okay. So now kind of like incorporating like your faith into like what you do, do you feel like your relationship with God has like influenced or shaped you as a photographer you are, like the artist you are in any way? Yeah. A hundred percent. Like, I mean, like, my relationship with God is the, like, number one, like, driving force as to why I actually shoot. Like, mm. if, like if I didn't have a relationship with God, I don't even know if I would even be, like, shooting the same stuff. Like, mm. like you know, because I don't even, because, because, like, my main thing is, like, like, when I tell these, like, stories that I do, like, I want them to, like, speak to people. Like, you know, like, just, like, like I want it to like mean something to like people. Yeah. And it's like it doesn't always have to be like a like spiritual project, but like but like mm. I always want something to like mean something when I'm shooting. Yeah. And I think that that nah, comes really. from like my relationship with God. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Um I would say like we're being like creative like we're most like our creative, our, our creator when we're creative, mm. and so you like I always that was the bar. Like, <laughs> that was the bar. <laughs> we're most like our creator when we're creative. I just mm. really feel that, and that's kind of like the theme of like this whole season too. Because I was just thinking about it, and I'm like, I know so many people that are like in different industries and in different yeah. ways, of like how they are creative, and I hear so many people that they are creative, but they don't. They don't bet on themselves. They don't, they, they're maybe scared of risk or whatever may have you. And I just know sometimes it could just be encouraging, like to hear other people, their stories and like how they got to the position that they may be in. Um, I don't think anybody would say that they've arrived, but you know, we're becoming. Um, so it's just kind of cool to talk about the journey while you're still, you're still on this side of it, you know, we're not all buku yeah, rich yeah. yet. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> we, we, we definitely 100%. still here. <laughs> we're still here, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so what is a nugget of wisdom you would like to give anyone who is like passionate about photography, maybe, or just like creative in general, who may feel like purpose like by it? Like you kind of said yourself, you feel like you kind of purpose in your creativity by it. How, what, what, what kind of like wisdom would you give someone else? Um, I feel like, and like, this isn't for like photographers that like just want to just like shoot and like make money because like, that's not what I'm, that's not what I do. So, so, so like, I couldn't do that side of it, but I think like, 
if you want to be a like creative photographer, I would say don't look at yourself as a photographer. Look at yourself as an artist because it's like that's what you are. Yeah. At the end of the day, because yeah. really is like for me, like I always tell people that like I don't love photography. I love creating the art and photography yeah, is like good. just the like your tool way that I use to create yeah. art. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I so feel like, you. So it's like, I love the like stories behind it and the like finished products of it. But as far as like, mm-hmm. just like shooting and stuff, I don't really, <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> that's cool, but it's like, but it's like, I don't love like clicking the camera, you know? <laughs> you know? No, so. I feel you. <laughs> I think uh, that goes even for like the stuff I do with acting. And uh, my acting work, a lot of the things that I did well and what I've learned in my, you know, in my studies helped me as a marketer because people don't know how to market to just tell a story, like telling their story. And so like, I'm pretty good at that. And like, people are like, will you help me? And I mean, I guess, and they pay me to do that. They pay me to help them tell their story. And so like, it's cool to be able to do that and how my script analysis classes that I never knew being able to dissect a story in detail and understand what all these other, you know, vocabulary that's specific for like acting and those things would cross over into like a different industry to help me just help people. And so I think at the end of the day, like stories and being able to like connect with people, people connect so much and they feel seen and they can get something out of, 100% 100% something that is connecting them to something you know and so like yeah. if you're intentional about what you're conveying then you know yeah and I think like I want to be blessed like, by that um something else too because like um um because like people like hit me up all the time about like oh how do you like find like um ideas and stuff to like shoot I would say I would say that is like, I'll say that is like, you find creative ideas, like, is literally like your life. So it's like, only like you know the experiences that like you've like gone through. Create literally off of that. Create things that you love, like do, whether it's like you're like super like into, into like Pokemon cars or whatever. Do something. Mm -hmm that's with that because it's like that's your thing and it's like and it's like going back to like um god and stuff like like we all have our own lives and i truly yeah. believe that it's like god like gives us like a like section of people that like goes through the same thing that like you have so it's like mm, really only yeah. like you can relate to those yeah people so it's no, like literally like so true. tap into that you know what i'm saying and yeah, it's like and yeah, it's like yeah. that's how you find your creativity and whatever that you do nah i feel you i think um even on this podcast i've shared some personal things about like my own testimony and stuff and like for a long time i felt embarrassed or shameful about certain things and then when i was like telling it like this is my story like i'm not these yeah. are things that I was embarrassed about. I'm but like even in sharing about it, people were like, Thank you for sharing. Like, I've been through this, 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 this. And I was like, What? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if people yeah. close to you that you maybe would have never even thought um could relate to what you're saying. And now like that opened up a new conversation that you may have never had had you not just been open and transparent about, you yeah. know, your own experiences. And it does provide so many ways for you to be creative and like use your experiences from your own perspective to like bring to the world what other people may or may not be able to like relate to but at the bare minimum they can empathize with or understand or get an understanding of um so that's always fun when you're able to do projects like that that are meaningful in that way okay i think that was a lot of wisdom yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Okay, Joe. All right. All right. Okay, so come on. Um, I'm excited to see where you continue to go. And I'm glad that I get to 
see it, you know, like other people, but also be like, Joe, so what's going on? You know, be on the little inside, (laughs) you know? But thank you so much, Joe. If if you have anything else that you would want to say, um, you can go ahead and say it. But if not, you Um, can follow Joseph. I would just say say that um, the Maya moment stands. Y'all are so blessed to have this lady speaking to y'all. You are, no. Oh my God. Probably the best podcast. And where you at? In Virginia. The best podcast in Virginia. You already know. Hold her down. (laughs) P.O.P. Hold it down. (laughs) Mama, I love you. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Thank you for Um, having me for sure. Of course. It's my pleasure, (laughs) literally. You guys can follow Joe on Instagram at Joseph L. Hart. Um, And I will, like I said, put... um, the notes for the YouTube channel and the podcast and everything oh, yeah, in the description podcast. box. Or in we the have caption. a podcast as well called the Bro Office. So check us out mm-hmm. on that on all platforms. Yeah, you know all platforms. You already <laughs> know what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Talk to you guys soon. See you on the next conversation. Let's get into it.